This is for Steve. Hi, welcome. Come on in and have some champagne. And, uh... Welcome. We're so delighted that you're here to celebrate the renovation of the uh, IEEECR offices and the naming of the Marla L. Schaefer Conference Center. Today, this internationally recognized center has state-of-the-art workspace, and the kind of space it needs to enhance and expand its critical work around the world. And of course, this was all made possible by a generous gift from our trustee and alumna, Marla Schaefer, apparently you have to yell, according to yeah. 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 So thank you, Marla, <laughs> for giving back to the program uh, that meant so much to you when you were here. And we're also glad to welcome Steve Weishoff, your husband, here to this occasion. As people who work here every day know well, this was not a particularly attractive place <laughs> before this renovation. In fact, Marla's word was rabbit's warren. Um, she saw firsthand as a student that there was incredibly important work being done here, and she knew that the people here needed a workplace that was worthy of the kind of work they do. So your gift is giving our scholars and our students a fabulous place in which to work, collaborate, and plan for the future, helping us attract the new students and faculty who will, over time, uh, continue this program. When Professor Morton Deutsch, who joins us tonight, yay, yay. yay. first started, uh, created this center in 1986, he brought to TC an innovative field of inquiry and practice with global impact. IEEECR is a unique among conflict resolution centers in the training it offers and the work in communities throughout the world that's deeply rooted in scholarship. In fact, conflict resolution is one of the first, the fields that was created at TC that we always mention when we talk about our wonderful legacy over the last 125 years. By linking theory and practice, the people of IEEECR have built and led this field in a very TC way. And we know that the center is going to continue to have an enormous impact and to flourish. And of course, now it has a lovely space in which to do it. So thank you, Marla. Thank you, Mort. I'm going to turn this over to Peter Coleman. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm Peter Coleman. I'm the director of the center. And uh, I am on faculty here. I'm on faculty at the Earth Institute as well. And uh, I just want to tell a, uh, actually I'll tell, I'll tell a long story, <laughs> I know you very comfortable, story. Uh, but bring through the champagne through frequently, please. So, uh, but I do want to say that, uh, like, right after World War II, young Morton Deutsch was coming back from World War II having flown 36 sorties, just 30. only 30, uh, <laughs> bombing sorties over Berlin. Um, and uh, was a navigator in World War II and came back after experiencing that firsthand and in the kind of shadow of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the power of nuclear war and had the crazy idea that you could do theoretical research, basic research, that would help with world peace and help with cooperation and constructive conflict um, in all kinds of settings. And so he set out to do that as a young buck um, at MIT and then came here in the 70s, early 70s. All right, 68. 63. 63. Who's counting? 50 years. <laughs> and did some groundbreaking work, is really considered one of the founders of the field of constructive conflict resolution and conflict management. Um, and his work has really had implications in international affairs, in business, in schools, in cooperative learning, really through, throughout the world. Um, more Brought, recently said, you know, I have a few awards we could put around, and he brought something like 60 of them. <laughs> so highly recognized. In 85, more with a, a donation from the president then of the college, opened um, IEEECR with a teacher educator, Ellen Rader, and their objective was to try to take the science that Mort was doing and more read readily apply it in practical settings like schools, like organizations, so they did a major project with the Board of Education in uh, New York City. 198 schools were trained in negotiation and mediation. We worked for about 10, 15 years inside the UN and continue to work a lot with the UN. We've worked with business, we've worked with preschools, 
So our work is really at different levels. It takes the same basic ideas and research and applies it for two-year-olds and five-year-olds as well as with the people that act like they're five-year-olds in Washington. Right? So we cut across that. We have an ambitious education agenda, which you'll see. We have a business, uh, 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 ambitious uh, research agenda. We've published a lot of our books. We have one of the most popular uh, handbooks in conflict resolution um, in the field, the, the, uh, the handbook which you'll see, and some of which we're making available. Uh, so we do research and we do a lot of practice. We work in communities, we work in schools, we work at the UN. Um, so we're busy here. Um, but about two or three years ago, we started to talk about this place, this space, and how challenged we were working here and, 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 and advancing our work here. The good news is we've been growing in terms of our number of students and colleagues and international networks. The bad news is it was hard to grow in the space that we were in. And so um, Marla was gracious enough to come to venture in with us and take a look at the space. Yeah, it was a little terrifying. Uh, it was probably a hot day, no air conditioning. Um, and um, agreed to support the renovation. Marla has been an angel for us um, for the past several years and has underwritten We've translated our handbook um, into Arabic, uh, and that will be distributed in the Arabic world. Um, and actually, Naira Masalam, who's back there, was the <laughs> a translator. Um, so that project was underwritten by Marla, and Marla has also, also hosted some Arabic-speaking uh, peace builders that we've had here, um, um, Marla and her husband both on their boat. So they have been an angel and a friend, um, and has allowed us to do this. So I want to thank a couple of people young Morton Deutsch for starting this nonsense in the first place. Um, I, I want to thank the college. I want to thank you, Susan. I want to thank Tom, who's here somewhere. There you are. Uh, and Bill and, um, and Laura and, and Eduardo and the team, the Capital Projects team, because they really marshaled this thing in short time to get it open tonight, So, which was not a small thing. And the architects are here. Monty and Han are right here. And they've done a wonderful job, you'll see. Them. Yeah. So I want to thank them. And I want to thank the staff of the center who are kind of scattered all about. Claudia's here, and the, um, a lot of our students are here. So maybe you could raise your hand, but Molly's here, and Charlotte's here. So the staff of the center are here as well. So thank you all, but of course, I really want to thank you for <laughs> making this happen. It wouldn't have happened without you. The college was clear about that. When we first said, we need a new space, they said, OK, so find a donor. <laughs> So thank you so much. We're thrilled. Uh, and now I think we get to let you speak. Okay. That's what we get let to do. Yes. Okay, well, uh, they told me to be brief, and I'll be very, very brief. Uh, I just want to say I'm honored to be part of Teachers College and blessed that I have the ability to be part of something so meaningful and so mind-boggling awesome that you created. Uh, when you think about it, in these beautiful new rooms, a roadmap to conflict resolution is created. A roadmap that extends from the personal one on one to the community to the world at large. And all of you, from trustees to faculty to students that are here and to visitors that are here, must be proud that right here at Teachers College is a laboratory devoted to making our world a better place to live. Morton Deutsch, Peter Coleman, and the entire team did amazing work all crunched up, and I mean really crunched up, in a warren of tiny rooms. I know this new space will continue to foster the brilliant minds, bringing light to a world often mired in conflict. So thank you for allowing me to be part of this process. Very good. So here's some, uh, like a Hitchcock moment. <laughs> You want to do that with me? Uh, I don't know. I'm afraid one of us will lose an appendage. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, and... All right! And these are for you. It's a sort of a homing, homecoming queen thing. Thank you. Right?
dynamics of conflict because it's applying things like mathematics and ideas and methods from there together and they were civil. Um, this is the research area. This is where we chain the research uh, students, the RAs and TAs and GAs to their desks and they do all their work here. <laughs> this is the capture lab where we have the conversations and then the data comes into here and we track it on that. This, this is where Charlotte sits and does our accounting and gets all of our grants figured out because they're a mess. Right? And then these are the office suites and then we have the conference center and, and then on the other side are where all the doctoral students, uh, and some of the doctoral students and our interns and those kinds of folks sit and work. So that's the that's the space. Champion your hands. There we go.